Hey guys, how's it going? G Pobbles here. And today we got a new one for you. You see, no, don't worry about that box back there. I don't I don't want you looking. It's a secret, another video, another time. But we have a new car. Come take a look at this. So my buddy Mike picked up this 2012. 2012 Subaru WRX. I named it Scooby-Doo for him. He digs it. We got some Scooby-Doo themed stickers in the back over here. This is a really clean car and Mike's not one to really waste money, so I talked Mike into buying a short throw shifter. And I have a feeling he's gonna do a lot more upgrades to this car. So we're gonna see how this goes, and Mike's gonna do his first mod, so let's let's do it. Alright guys, so step one over here, there's gonna be two screws inside the center console, and we're gonna start removing this whole jazz here, so Mike's gonna do that for us real fast, and then we're gonna keep going. You can use a 10 mil as well, but a screwdriver is just way easier in this spot. Longer. It's a Phillips head. Better. You know what would be nice? A nut driver. Because nuts. My nuts. <laughs> Why didn't we ever use this You're not also? special. Uh, and Ryan's really not special. <laughs> Ryan couldn't make it today. So step two is going to be to pry back your e-brake and separate it from the center console. And there should be another flathead, Phillips head behind it. Mike is using all the finesse while doing this. Finesse for days. Got that. There it is. And there's another Phillips head right behind it. You just got to pry back a little bit. Keep track of the nuts. The nuts and bolts. All right. All right. Next, we're gonna pop back the center console. Just give it a nice grab good grab. Wings, pull up back. There you go. And now that's it's gonna give us enough clearance to remove this beast. Boot. That's the word <laughs> I was looking for. <laughs> Wrong B word. We forgot something. We got we got to remove the shift knob. Oh, this probably hasn't been taken off in uh, 2012. What's the year now? 2019. Yeah, seven, seven years. years. <laughs> Solid seven years. Oh, that was easier than I thought. <laughs> Maybe I just got strong hands. No, you didn't. <laughs> no, I didn't. No, you don't. That was not proper English. I thought you were going to say maybe I got stronger. <laughs> no, you didn't. Don't lie. Oh, this is very threaded. Hold on, bolt, dude. You saw. I did saw. Look at look how long those threads are. Look at look would you would you look at it? Got it. Hmm. Hmm. Ah. Ah. I wasn't expecting that to have a. I don't know what to call that. <laughs> All right, so now we're moving the center console boot dish section. We took this off. Oh. I see. I see. Hold this. Yeah, see? Told you. Told you this would happen. Ready? You're looking too much of it. It's this piece. Oh, motherfucker. Oh, you're going to get demonetized. <laughs> <laughs> what did we tell you? What did we tell you? Told you you were getting into filming. All right, so there's supposed to be two plastic screws, one here and one here. Previous owner must have taken it out, so we got one to deal with. So, you know what? I bet I can take this out with my hands. I gotta take the dirt off the boot. I can nasty. unscrew it with my finger. My finger where? My finger what? Got it. <laughs> got it. Now we can remove our boot. Under boot. The boot under the boot under the boot boot the boot boot. And that reveals boot, our shifter. Boot, boot. You're also supposed to remove your insulation. You can get your insulation out of there too. They're supposed to be connected, but they're not. All right, so next we're gonna remove the bolt that's uh, here and it's holding the shifter in place. Assuming we got the ratchet in the right way. Yes, we do. Whoops. I swear I've used one of these before. <laughs> He's lying. You're gonna cut that part out, right? Nope. <laughs> do it. I can hand it off from there. Thank you. Ooh, she's still warm. Ooh. And, 
and Make this is flaccid. It's what? Flaccid. All right, so now you got a snap ring in there that's retaining this entire assembly in place. So you're gonna remove the snap ring with some snap ring pliers, and then we can pull this out. I think I'm in. Oh, I said. was. I was in, I didn't know. These are too big. And then the right. Now the left one's the tricky dicky. Ah, oh, that's the ticket. There we go. That's in the way. Got that. All right, snap rings out. Now you can let go of that guy. There we go. Now you should be able to grab and pull. That'll do, Bob. That'll do. All right, next step's gonna be to remove the uh, shift lever itself. There she be. And now we're gonna remove everything we're gonna reuse, Which... and we're gonna get a paper towel. And we're not doing this in the car because it's very dirty. Yep. Gravity, don't betray me. <laughs> we're off to a great start here. Hey, hey, hey Mike, if you yeah. remove the plastic thing, oh, true, the snap true, ring will true, come true, off. True, 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 true. All right, so you remove that plastic part. That's shitty and gross. Yeah, now the snap ring will come off. Okay. And now the snap ring will go on. Now the snap ring goes on your Cobb short throw shifter. And you put that guy back on your short Cobb short throw shifter. And then you wipe your fingers. And then you use your uh, blue shop towel. This, uh, this, this video is sponsored by towels. Because towels. Towels by George. <laughs> And now you have to remove your crush sleeve and your bushings out of your shifter and put them into your Cobb short throw shifter. And we 100% are going to need a flathead for this. I doubt it. I don't have fingernails, dude. <laughs> Twist. I can't grab. All right, go get a... <laughs> say it. Say princess. Uh, I was just going to say flathead princess. Okay. Princess. Million flatheads later. I'll do. There she is. And there she goes. Got it. Okay, now put these bushings into your cob shifter. Now your crush sleeve. Zoop. And now you're ready to put this in the car. Okay, so this short throw is a little too short. It's a short boy. For Mike, he wants to Very lengthen it a little boy. bit. So you can lengthen the throw with the lower adjustment and the height with the upper adjustment. So he wants to change the height up a little bit, so we're gonna adjust that, we're gonna show you for you. We're not quite sure what the middle one does yet, but we're gonna figure, we're gonna it, figure out. it out. Okay. Middle one seems to be an extra. That's so like half triple. an inch. Like triple. No, from there yeah. to there. No, no, higher than that. But that dot. See that dot? Dot. Dot. Got it. Yeah. And test her out. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so with your uh, short throw shifter adjusted for height to your pleasure, for your pleasure, not hers, we can now go and start the reinstallation process. So we're gonna put this guy back in. We're gonna put the bolt in the hole, get it all connected up to our transmission, and then we're gonna seat it in place. And then clamp it. And then we need snap ring pliers. You know what? Take the bolt out. Just take, uh, the bolt, take the bolt out. Good. You're going to want to take that bolt out there, guy. So you're going to want to reattach your snap ring. Uh, you need to readjust that light because I can't see shit. How's that? Heckin' funnier. Oh, I had it! <laughs> so we're trying a trick by uh, putting the snap ring in, before, in the pliers beforehand. 
and we're going to see how this works. Sure works well, Lieutenant Dan. Sure works well. Tips and tricks, guys. This is why you watch YouTube. Now the trick is... Now take a flathead and push it down all the way. There's a good little view. What's going on there? Is it recording? Yep. Oh. Tip number two. Don't lose it by using two flatheads on opposite sides. Come down on this side. There it is. Now it's in place. Let's say we're good. I'll do, Bob. I'll do. Next, we're gonna put, we're gonna attach our short throw shifter. Before you tighten it all the way, this is probably a good time to make sure you can get into all your gears. Or if. <laughs> 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 and that's when you need you know you need to adjust your shifter a little bit <laughs> and that's how that works and cut so all right, while it's still in the vehicle we can reasonably adjust it which is what mike just did here and now he believes we don't have all, all the gears. gears i don't think we got all gears but we got neutral so you got first we don't got second all right so we gotta go up we a little more third. for a second we got don't have fourth. Don't have fourth. We got five. All right, so we no need reverse. we need to raise it a little more so we can start getting to those lower gears. First, you gotta find your nut. Nuts. Hey, I found the O-ring. There was a second O-ring. Should we put that back on? <laughs> <laughs> Probably. Fuck. All right, so once we have this adjusted for height, we can now attach our shift er to the transmission and uh, make sure everything's all kosher again, which it should be, because we tested it. Now we can tighten this guy down. How tight is the question? Serious question. 75 <laughs> foot pounds. It's a very abstract number to me. It's a very high number. <laughs> okay. 75 foot pounds is like how, how tight you make a tire. Snug. Nice and snug. Probably should double check this. Good thing this is one repetitive motion, so it's nice and easy. Because <laughs> I'm not stopping right now. <laughs> Unless I, you know, fall off. <laughs> and then I'll laugh. Like I did. That's good. Oh, you. Clutch. Yep, still good. Next, we can reinstall our installation and then our boots. What are you looking at? I'm just making sure that actually is nice and we're not <laughs> missing any parts. Uh, is that right? Yep. Line up your two holes. Looks okay to me. All right, now your other rubber boot. Ow, oh, that was a <laughs> fucking staple of the finger. <laughs> Put it on that one. Did you just pull it off? Yep. Now we can go and reinstall our console, not backwards, oh, sure. first of all. You know, just the right ways. Usually a good idea. Get the boot on kind of where it needs to go, and then start getting the clips in place. Mike might need help with interior pieces. Shift knob. Screw around, Bob. Oh, wait. Let's get that popped back into place first. Get your leather wrapped around your shifty knob. It's a little boy. <laughs> <laughs> There's no end to this <laughs> thing. <laughs> what just. Alright. Now, again, make sure you can go into all your gears. Crispy. All right. Now we can go ahead and put our three bolts back in our center console after we put it, you know, where it's supposed to go. Nope. 
are outside. The, there you go. Friction. There you go. Screwdriver. Put your e-brake back on. Make sure it's all buttoned up. There we go. All pretty. Now we got two more screws to put back in our center console. And better light angling. I need better light. I can't tell if that's straight. It is not. This is Mike. Say this hi to Mike. George. Hi to George. <laughs> All right, guys. Thanks for watching today's video. If you liked Mike's car and short throw shifter and Subaru things or just my videos in general, give it a big thumbs up because we want to be stupid and say YouTube things and give a big thumbs up. But seriously, like, share, comment, subscribe. Do all that typical YouTube jazz. And I will see you next time. Have a good one.